Hey good people, it's Mark from Vintage Audio Nagoya and uh, continuing with our theme of doing them quick and doing them dirty. We're going to run through this uh, Denkin Digital Echo WE200 real briefly. I've had a few of these and they come in different names but they're essentially the same unit. Uh, pretty cool little echo boxes, they look a lot like a tape echo of the same era. So I think this is right at the crossover period where uh, tape echo was being phased out a bit and digital echo was coming along and uh, people were comfortable with the way the tape echoes looked and they kind of kept that look but it's a digital echo. Uh, simple unit but sounds good I think and uh, looks pretty cool. Compact size. So we've got a, an instrument going in on, uh, on A here and here's our volume. And then we can add echo. Uh, here's our mic volume for the um, for the mic, obviously mic volume, and uh, we can add an echo to this. You can hear uh, all the way down. Check check. It's a real brief echo. Um, it's real short. Uh, echo volume. Bring that up. And uh, here's our max echo volume. Check check. It's hard to eliminate. Uh, there's no bypass switch, so you've always got this echo as your base echo. Now we can turn up the intensity here. Check. Uh, this is, uh, we'll, we'll call this three o'clock here uh, if it was a one to ten dial. So check, 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 five, check, six, 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 seven, seven, Eight, eight, nine, check, check, ten, check. Now it'll oscillate out. Uh, you know, we got more room to go here, but it'll oscillate out pretty quickly at that point. So, check. 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 So, like the most things, to eliminate the echo, just turn the intensity back and it'll cancel it out. Check. Pretty intense. Uh, I think my neighbors often wondered what the hell is going on in that garage, man. I think he's doing drugs. Uh, anyway, there it is, Digital Echo. I will uh, bring you back and show you some pictures of the back here and uh, the sides, give you a good look at it. Thanks. Okay, here's a little close up look at it. The lighting's a little bit better uh, when I get up close here. Uh, real good shape all the way around. And uh, we've got a little red dot on the switch, which is kind of interesting. It doesn't it doesn't light up, but this lights up with the power on. Uh, but the, I guess you can find the switch easier with the red. So uh, again, really good condition. The handle's in uh, great shape, and uh, cabinets all around pretty nice. Let me flip this around here. And we've got an echo high, a low out. Got, uh, some fingerprints on it. Pretty simple unit, but uh, again, does what it's intended to do and looks pretty good doing it. WE200, Dankin.